now. Let me get to the correct screen. We got it. We're being live streamed. Okay. So let me get here. Facebook so I can see if we have any questions. Um, Jim, all right. Welcome. Bum, 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 bum. There we are. We're live. Okay. Why are we not live? There we go. I don't know what's going on there. All right. So grab your bands. So if you don't have band, grab your dumbbells. Okay. Okay. So Jessica, you're going to hinge over and you're going to pull this way. Okay. Denise, we're going to do it standing. Boom. So you're pulling back with control. Think shoulder blades squeeze, elbows pull back. Control that release. Again, think about stability through your core. Abs are in, feet are a comfortable distance apart. And again, if you're in that hinge with the dumbbell, you're doing your row with both arms. That core has to be nice and strong. If you prefer, you can also step back at that angle. All right. Last one like this. So Jessica, you're going to stay in that position. Now you're going to pull the elbows wide. Elbows wide. So you're getting into that upper back, between the shoulder blades even more. Again, control your release. Keep tension on the band. Keep tension in those muscles. We got a couple more. And then we are going to combo this, so dumbbells or bands, so shake it out for a moment. We're going to start with that low row, then we're going to lift the elbows up to that high row, straighten the arms, keep the high row, pull back, and then pull the elbows in, release. So you're comboing the high row and the low row. Take your time. And again, if you're in the dumbbell with dumbbells, same thing. You're just doing it in that hinged over position. Notice where you feel the work. No discomfort in your shoulders. Neck is nice and relaxed. Again, core nice and strong. We've got a couple more. Last one, and release. All right, so we're gonna turn sideways. So Jessica, you can't hold on to the band. You pretend that you're the door now. Okay. Elbows in at your side. So we're gonna be like this, and you're gonna rotate out. So keep oh. your straight on the band. You're rotating out. So it's just a small motion. So again, if you have it on the anchor point, you've got that going on as well. Oh, I'm making noise and mess up over here today. Rotate. So think about that shoulder blade stays nice and stable. All right, a little bit of more core work today. So go ahead and lift the outside foot. Think about tall spine. One more and release. All right, inside arm is now the mover. So you're gonna slowly pull in and then release. So Jessica, you're gonna do the same motion, but you're gonna be lifting up at the other hand below. Oh, so same we're arm. We're not uh, twisting arms. It's working arms. So the arm that was doing the rotation is now doing the lifting up. And if you have a band, uh, anchored, then it's going to be pulling in as opposed to lifting up. But it's the same motion. We're just working different things because of where our anchor is. So we're getting into the lats, getting into the shoulders. We got a couple more here. And then release. All right, flipping to the other side. So Jessica, you're just going to stand there and you're gonna use the other arm for that rotation out now, okay? So again, if you're anchored, you're staying there, you rotate out. So Jessica, you're just holding on to that band instead of that anchor.
All right, think about lifting that outside leg. Wrist is straight, tall spine. Couple more. All right, relax that shoulder. It's now holding the band. The inside arm, you're pulling into your hip. And Jessica, you're actually going to lift it up again. So opposite of what we're doing, but the motion is exactly the same. Okay. So think about the neck is staying relaxed. Stabilized, so I'm swaying a little bit, so I'm not swaying now. Again, think about opening through the collarbone. Two more. One. And two. All right, take that hand away. Unanchor it. And you're going to step in the middle with one foot. Doesn't matter which one. And again, the handles may get too long. You're welcome to grab down onto the band itself. All right, so core is engaged. Shoulder blades back, elbows in at your side. Slowly lift up. And then slow, slow, slow on the way down. And again, feel free to play with your range of motion. I want you to have a full range of motion as possible, but I also want you to have resistance at the bottom and the top. So if you need to bend your knees a little bit to get that resistance working, you're welcome to. and slow. All right, so I want you to start working those hands a little bit more to the outside. So your biceps rotate outward slightly. Working the bicep heads a little bit differently, more into the lateral. And again, try to keep them together, try to keep them equal. Notice, is one arm stronger than the other? Those arms forward again. And then one arm at a time, you're going to cross toward the opposite shoulder, opposite shoulder, opposite shoulder, opposite. So again, now we're getting the inside head, whereas we were getting the outside head before. Again, feel free to change your grip on the band if you need to change the resistance. So you can do that full range of motion effectively. Good. Come on. Come on. One more set. And release. Shake it out. All right. Now that band is going to go behind you. You're going to hold on to it somewhere in the mid back. Other arm, elbow points as much toward the ceiling as you can get, and keep that neck relaxed. Okay, wrist is straight. Again, just a bit of attention on the band is needed. Slowly straighten the arm toward the ceiling and then slowly let it bend back down. Straighten it toward the ceiling, bend back down. So again, try and keep tension on the band the whole time. I'm actually gonna sit because oh, I go out of screen. And the band didn't cooperate. All right, so up and down. Oop. Watch for hair getting caught. And again, think about that shoulder blade on that working arm. Shoulder blade slides down and in. You want to try to keep that elbow relatively forward. Again, depends on shoulder flexibility. If you're missing shoulder flexibility, it's going to go out to the side. So try to bring it forward, maybe even down a little bit. See if that gives you that forward motion. Okay. Couple more uh, and release. All right, other side. Same thing. So holding on to the band behind. Elbow toward the ceiling. Notice right and left. Are they different? This is definitely my higher side. When you're ready, slowly straighten and then slower on your release. And again, adjust the tension on the band with the back hand. Find the band is slipping. Feel free to 
wrap it around the hand. There we go. Now I'm starting to feel like I can actually get the shoulder back as it gets warmed up. And again, watch where your elbow's pointing. All right, so as you go, try to work that elbow so it's pointing forward more, but the neck again is relaxed. That's really your key here is that neck needs to stay out of it. How's the shoulder blade doing? You feel it down and in? We got a couple more. Uh, we got two, one. Two and release. Okay, band comes back and behind you. So you're probably gonna have to hold off the handles if you have handles. Because you want a little bit of tension to start. So band is under the armpits in between the torso and the arms. You're gonna push one hand forward, slowly bring it back. Push the other hand forward, slowly bring it back. Take your time. And again, work in chest, work in anterior shoulders. Push and release. So make sure torso stay in stable. Uh, so if you want to add to this, um, come on down to push up position and do the push up with the band around the back. So again, you can do all fours push up. You can do push up from the knees. You can do a push up from the toes. Your choice. Again, they're all different. That really just depends on where you are today. You can also choose to stay up here. Okay. Keep going. Keep going. Watch your head position. Keep that core checked in. Again, shoulder blades back. I really want you to focus on, you feel like the collarbone is open. You feel the front pack is nice and broad. All right, you got three more. Three, two, last one. Go ahead and sit back, shake it out. Almost done. You are done for today. Woohoo! Excellent work. Thank you for being here. And I will see you. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.